Hi guys, this is Small Couponer. This is my CVS haul for the week of August 25th, 2019 through August 31st, 2019. This was a completely free haul. I had some amazing CRTs this week, but this week I was not able to do the P&G deal, the spend $20, get $5 ECB because there were no digitals, but there are some printables online from pgeveryday.com if you want to do the Tide deal. There are Tide pods and Tide liquid laundry detergent printables, and there are digitals on your CVS app if you want to do the la uh, laundry detergent deal. So this is my haul. So I want to go over the written breakdown because the receipt is kind of confusing and then I'll show you my receipt so let's go to the written breakdown really quick so I wanted to do these two deals in the ad the Kotex deal and the Colgate Max deal or the two-in-one toothpaste the poise deal there was a spin $25 get a $5 ECB but I decided just to get the free product rather than spend money out of pocket so this is what I bought I bought three of the Kotex the these are the Barely There liners, the 18 count. They are priced at $179 at my store. So when you buy one, you get you get one for 50% off. So the since I buy three, it's $179 and then the second one was 50% off. So that was around $0.90. Cents. And then the third one was $179 since I only bought one. I have to buy two in order to get the 50% cent, 50 off for the second one. So that's why my Kotex total was $4.47. And then I add in a CVS panty liner, the 20 count, for $1.39. Because I do have CRTs for those, this is why I did it this way. And I purchased one of the Poise Active for $6.49. These were normally priced at $6.79. So at my CVS, it's $6.49 now. And one of the Poise liners, these are the 50 count for $6.49 as well. One of the Colgate Max, the six ounces for $2.99. These were on sale this week. One of the Revlon Nail Clipper for $3.89. And this is just a filler item, the two liter Pepsi for 99 cents because I wanted to roll an extra buck. So I use a $3 off Kotex CRT, a $2 off two tampons, pads, or liner CRT, and a $1 off CVS tampons, pads, or liners app only coupon. And this one adjusted down because I, CVS does not give overage. And $3 off Poise Active printable from Poise.com. $3 off a Poise product printable from Poise.com. $2 off Poise Uniquely. It was like Uniquely something something CRT. That one does not work on a Poise Active. It works on a Poise liners. $2 off Poise CRT. It just says Poise, so it works either on either or, the Poise liner or the Active. And $2 off Poise Active CRT. $2 off Poise Active Collection CRT. And this one adjusted down, so I don't get any overage because CVS does not give overage. And I just wanted free products, so that's why I don't mind losing out on a couple cents or a dollar. I just wanted everything free. I want the lowest out of pocket. That's just me. And I had a $1 off mouthwash CRT. It was working on the toothbrush, toothpaste, and the mouthwash. So I sent that to card because I know sometimes the cashier reads it. So when you send it to card, it comes out, it comes off automatically. If it doesn't come off because it's not qualifying, then it doesn't come off. So I just sent it to card just to be safe. It, it came off fine. So I got the Colgate Max for completely free because of this dollar off CRT. And a $4 off Revlon CRT and that printed last week for everyone that was one of the mystery offers and it was working on the Revlon nail clipper so you can't get the Revlon tools so the reason why I did not put total coupons is because the overage adjusted down so there's no overage so the coupons adjusted down so the total coupons is not really total coupons even though it's that amount because it adjust it down so that's why I did not put anything there so I paid I was expecting to pay two dollars and ninety ninety eight cents but on my receipt it says two dollars and ninety three cents from my extra buck that I wrote so I don't know why it's an extra five cents yeah I don't know why it's 
extra five cents, but it doesn't matter because subtotal is zero 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 either way. So I got back a dollar extra buck for the Kotex and two dollar extra buck for the Colgate, making this free because I did roll three dollar extra bucks. So that is considered cash to me, and I got three dollars back. So that is completely free. And I just want to note that Poise, Kotex, and the Pepsi products are qualifying brands on Fetch Rewards. If you don't have Fetch Rewards, you could get 2,000 points, which is equivalent to $2 when you sign up using my referral code, which is W5XMK. I also have this linked in the description box below, so you could just copy and paste it. When you scan in your first receipt, you must scan in your first receipt in order to redeem that three not redeem, but in order to get the 2,000 points. So your first receipt can be anything from gas, grocery, convenience store, drugstore, or wholesale store receipts. Clothing and restaurant receipts do not work. They are not qualifying. And receipts can be up to two weeks old, but re receipts after two weeks old, they do not qualify anymore. They just don't accept it. So it could be within the two weeks. And you can redeem a gift card once you reach 3,000 points, which is equivalent to $3. I know they have Amazon gift cards that you can redeem for 3,000 points, which is equivalent to $3. So it's a $3 Amazon gift card. Or you could get CVS gift cards and keep on rolling that money and get, keep on making the extra bucks and make even more extra bucks. So for receipts with qualifying brands, you get bonus points such as the Poise, the Kotex, and the Pepsi. Since I paid nothing out of pocket for this, they won't give me any points or any um extra bonus points, but they will give me an extra 25 points just for scanning in my receipt with the bon with the qualifying items. It's it's always the price after coupons that is the bonus points. Since after coupons, everything was completely free. I normally get 25 points for, per receipt, but since I have for non-qualifying receipts for no qualifying brands, but since I have qualifying brands, I will get 20, an, an additional 25 points for the qualifying brands. So I'll get 50 points for this receipt, even though everything was free. And for receipts with no qualifying brands, you get 25 points. So it's, if you scan in, like if for this CVS receipt, if I did not purchase the Kotex, the Poise, or the Pepsi, and I just got the Max, uh, Colgate Max Fresh and the Revlon Nail Clipper, I'll get 25 points for that. So that's that. And if you just shop a lot and travel a lot or coupon a lot and you have a lot of receipts, I recommend scanning all of those in. And you'll get points regardless. And it's just the easiest app to use. You just scan it in. You don't even have to save any offers or anything. If one offer qualifies, they'll automatically give you those points. So that is that. So we just went through the breakdown. Now I'm going to show you what I bought exactly and my receipt. So I did purchase the 2 liter Pepsi. These are 99 cents at my store. And these were also in the ad. I did put it in my No CRT Needed video for this week. The best deals for this week. And they, it's a good filler item. And this, this is why I got it. Because I wanted to use my extra bucks. And this Poise Act. This is just a Poise Micro Liner. The 50 liners. The Poise Active, I got the 18 count pads, and I got the Revlon Nail Clipper. These were $3.89 in my store. So this was $0.99, cents. this was $6.49, this was $6.49, this was $3.89. And each of these were $1.79, and they were BOGO 50% off. So you buy one for $1.79, the second one is around $0.90, cents. and then this one I just bought because I needed to use my CRT, so this was just $1.79. And then this was $1.39 because I had a dollar app only coupon. And these were the Barely There 18 count liners. And this was the 20 count panty liners, the CVS brand. And I purchased the Colgate Max Fresh, it's the 6 ounces. So this is my receipt. So you can see that I purchased the Pepsi, the Colgate, the panty liners, and the Poise and the CVS panty liner and a Revlon nail clipper. So that is that. And then you can see all my coupons that came off. The $3, $3, these were the printables from Poise.com for the two Poise products right here. One is for $3 off any Poise product and this one was $3 off Poise Active. So 
those were the two coupons right here. And then I had a $4 off Revlon Cosmetic CRT that printed out last week for everyone. So if you don't want to get the makeup or the kiss balm, you can just get the nail clipper and get it for completely free because it will adjust down to the price which is $3.89 because CVS does not give overage and then the $3 off Kotex that came off $2 off two feminine care which is the tampon pads and liners that came off $2 off poise came off $2 off poise came off this was like the verbiage was ultimately I mean uniquely so poise uniquely and it was only working on this one. It does not work on the Poise Active. So just to keep that in mind. And $2 off Poise Active. And then $2 off Poise Active. So it adjusted down because my coupons were o over the price of the products. So that's why it adjusted down because CVS does not give overage. $1 off mouthwash. You can see that it came off for the Colgate Max Toothpaste. And I sent this to card. I printed all my other CRTs, but I only sent this one to card. Because if it comes off, it comes off. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And I know sometimes the cashier reads the CRTs. So I just sent it to card so it comes off automatically. The $1 off, that was the CVS app only coupon for the CVS pads. It was $1 off CVS pad, tampons, pads, or liners. And that adjusted down to $0.91 cents because the price of the products, the price of the total coupon was over the price of the products. So that's why it adjusted down, no overage. And then I rolled $3 extra bucks, so that was $2.93. So I was expecting $2.98 because of the $1.99 Colgate after coupon and the $0.99 cent Pepsi, but I don't know why um, it's... An extra five cents more but either way my subtotal is free and I just paid taxes so that is that and I get did give back the one dollar for the Kotex and two dollar for the Colgate so it made this con whole transaction completely free and I want to talk about a maybe deal it's a makeup deal that I may want to do but I may not do but if you have the same CRTs you can definitely do the deal because it's free so let me go to the next screen and I'll show you the breakdown for the makeup deal so these are the makeup deals that I may want to do or may not do but if you have the same CRTs the same digitals you can do this deal and it could be completely free so if you still have the mystery offers the crts from last week and if you have not used them you can use it this week because this week the cover girl is buy to get six dollars and you could still get the mascaras because the digitals they have not expired or if you have printables they are no longer available on coupons.com but if you print it out before if you still have them you can use them and buy to get five dollars for the maybelline and the great lash the Digital and the printable is working on a great lash because it does not exclude the great lash mascara. So let's get right into it. So this is the maybe deal. I may may or may not do it because I do have a lot of makeup. So I don't I don't know if I want to do it, but it does count towards beauty. But if you're interested in this deal, go ahead and do it. And if you have the same CRTs, so what you would do is buy one of the CoverGirl Lash Blast mascara for nine dollars and fifty nine cents. One of the CoverGirl Professional Mascara for $6.69. These prices may vary from store to store, but these are the prices at my store. Two of the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara for $5.99 each, so two of those will be $11.98. Your total will be $28.26. You will use $2 off CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara Digital or the printable if you still have them. $1 off CoverGirl Mascara Digital or you could use the printable if you still have them. $1 off 50 CoverGirl Mascara App Only Coupon if you have not already used it. $1 off Maybelline Mascara Digital if you have not already used it and there were printables if you printed some out. $1 off Maybelline Mascara Printable from coupons.com which is no longer available. So you will need one digital and one printable. $2 off CoverGirl CRT that printed from last week from the mystery offer if you have not already used it. $3 off Maybelline CRT that was also a mystery offer that printed last week if you have not already used it. And I got a $3 off 15 CoverGirl CRT for this week and $3 off 12 Cosmetic CRT from last week. So my total coupons is $17.50. 
I will pay $10.76, get back $6 extra buck for the cover girl, and $5 extra buck for the Maybelline, which equals $11 in extra bucks, making these free and a 24 cent moneymaker. So the reason I could use two purchase base CRTs here for this whole transaction is because my total equals the total purchase base CRT thresholds. So you can see it's $3 off 15 CoverGirl and $3 off 12 Cosmetics. The $15 plus the $12 is $27. So I my total is $28.26. So that met. And then the individual CRT has to meet as well. So the two CoverGirl mascaras, they equal around $16. So the 3 off 15 works on that. And then the Maybelline mascara and whatever left after the $15 from the cover girl works with the $12. So $11.98 plus a couple cents from the cover girl that did not come off from the 3 off 15 works with this 3 off 12. So that's why both of these purchase based coupons could be used in this transaction. This is the only CRT that is worth mentioning that I got for this week. It's $2 off Hallmark cards. If you're interested, if your CVS has a Hallmark card section, you can get, if you could find a card that costs $2, you could get a card for completely free. And that is it from me. Thanks for watching. Bye.